Well, hello there. I'm back again, and last time on the channel here, I actually promised that I would set up Apple HomeKit, get you guys rolling with that. So that's what we're gonna do today. Now, what I'm gonna start with is a basic, basic demo of setting up a couple of Philips Hue products, and then I'm gonna end by showing you some of the different products that you can actually go get and integrate with Apple HomeKit. Let's get going. We're gonna use Apple HomeKit now, so let's go right into the Home application there on your iPhone or iPad. And we're gonna go ahead and try and add an accessory right away. This is the first step really in doing anything. Now what they ask you for is the code from the back of the device. Now in this case, we're using a Philips Hue bridge, so I'm adding that in here, and I just lifted up the device, flipped it over, and you can see that we just use the camera on the phone to actually pick that bridge. Now once you've scanned that number, they ask you to rename the device, give a location for it, as in what room it's in, and ask you if you wanna include it in favorites. So go ahead, stick in a room. That's what I'm gonna do here. I'm calling it base room at first. You'll see why later. And I'm gonna go ahead and include this in favorites. You'll see why I'm doing that later as well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add another accessory. Now, since I've added in the Philips Hue bridge, it's instantly found my other devices. So the first one is the Philips Hue Bloom that we set up in a previous video. The second one is a white basement lamp that we have already set up as well. So those two devices were found right away. You can rename either of them, you can change which room they're in, and you can decide whether or not to include them in favorites. Now that we've set up those two accessories, we've added them to the rooms we want, and we've put them in our favorites, now they're showing up on our home page. Now at the bottom of the application, you can actually click on Rooms, and go see your different rooms. So if we had more than one set up here, you would actually see the devices in each one of those rooms, split out and available to you to control. Now on top of that, there's one other thing at the bottom of this application called automation. If you have an Apple TV fourth generation uh, or an iPad that sits in your house, you can turn it into a home hub, so to speak. So it can become the controller of all your home automation. So that's a great feature. We'll do that in a future video, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Now, let's actually see how you can control the devices themselves. You can see I'm just tapping on the devices to turn them on and off. Once you hold one of the devices, you can actually go into the different controls for each device. So you can see I'm adjusting the brightness. We can change the color on the bloom, of course. That device has the different color capability. You can also adjust whether it's in your favorites or, or it's what location it's in. So now with your white basement light that you have from Philips Hue, this is just the basic light. You can just change the brightness and then adjust the details as well. Now previously I'd set up the Philips Hue bridge to show up in my favorites and you also saw that I called my room base room. Now obviously there's no base room. So let's go ahead and repair those two things. The first thing I'm going to do is actually go into the room here that I want to adjust the name of. So I'm gonna hit rooms at the bottom and now I'm gonna go up to the top and just adjust the name of base room to basement. That's making a lot more sense. Now the second thing I wanna do, I'm gonna hold on the Hue Bridge, just gonna tap on it and then hold on the Hue Bridge. And now I'm gonna go into details and I'm just gonna remove it from favorites. So you can see how you can take items on and off your different pages here in the home application. Now then, let's set up a scene. So let's pretend we're gonna watch a movie. I'm gonna set up a scene for that. Just at the top right there, you can click the plus, and this is the menu you get up. I'm gonna hit add scene, and we're gonna call this one watch a movie because that's what I kinda wanna set up my lights for. Now, I'm gonna say which accessories I wanna turn on, and now I get to actually set them up similarly to what I'd done before. I can set the brightness, I can set the color of my bloom, 
And I can also set the brightness on my white basement light as well. Now let's do a demo with Siri. Turn on basement bloom. Turn off basement bloom. Turn on basement bloom. Change basement bloom to blue. Turn off basement bloom. Okay, well let's take a look at the HomeKit list of devices that you can actually use. Now they have all the usual suspects here. Lights, switches, outlets, thermostats. They have some home security, some locks, some cameras, and some doorbells. They also have some garage doors, so quite a different set of devices. Now, as we look through the lights, you can start to see names like LIFX, Nanoleaf, Philips Hue. Uh, in the switches area, you start to see this Kugi that I don't really know, but I think I'm going to end up knowing. Leviton and Lutron are in there as well. On the outlet side, you can see iHome starting to show up. You see those devices all over the place. And again, Kugi showing up there. On the thermostats, you won't see a Nest because of course Apple and Google aren't friends, but you will see Ecobee, Honeywell, etc., etc. Now, they do have some windows and coverings, some fans, some air conditioners, and some heaters. Uh, but they also have, as a major set here, the sensors. So you see Elgato Eve, Fabaro, OneLink, and a number of other makers of different types of sensors there. On top of that, they have a couple of locks there. The August Smart Lock's kind of the big one there. They have a few cameras. Again, you're not going to see Nest, but you are going to see a couple other from some other makers and some garage door openers. Now, you'll have to look into the MyQ garage door opener if you want to start getting into that. As I understand it, they do charge uh, a monthly fee to use the MyQ service. Now, there's also the bridges. We just connected the Philips Hue bridge, but there's a few other bridges that you'll need to have to connect those devices, such as, say, Lutron. Okay, well I've got an Apple HomeKit here set up at home. I'm ready to control my Philips Hue lights and we can now all go out, look for those other devices that I showed you here that will integrate and interface with Apple HomeKit. I'll see you next time.